it is impossible to say just how many people took to the streets to celebrate France's semi-final victory over Belgium on July 10. But it was certainly a much bigger response than the tempered expressions of enthusiasm that greeted Les Blues' respective second round and quarterfinal wins over Argentina and Uruguay. Big victories by the French national team have always given rise to spontaneous demonstrations of joy on the streets. That was the case when Les Blues won Euro 2000 and when they reached the Euro 2016 final. But Tuesday night's revelry was on a scale no one had seen since France won their first World Cup trophy, on home soil, in 1998, reliving the 98 glory days, we're seeing the same kind of emotional pattern as in 1998, when doubts, especially about the manager, were only laid to rest late in the competition, said Yvon Gestat, a sports historian and lecturer at the university. Of nice, in an interview with France 24, Giles Vervish, a philosopher and author of De la Tête aux Pieds, Philosophy du Football, from Head to Foot Football Philosophy, interprets the vast semi-final victory celebrations as an attempt to experience the 1998 glory days once more. The ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus famously said that you can never step into the same river twice, he told France 24. Indeed, the victory of 1998 the memory of which was passed on to people too young to have experienced it themselves, is a moment we were talking about as a unique event, as a myth in and of itself, that by definition, one could never relive, but, of course, France getting into the 2018 final gives us a way of experiencing the same joy, great to hear joy instead of ambulance sirens. Vervish also argued that the series of terrorist attacks that have struck France since January 2015 have played no small role in the celebratory fervor. The first attack on November 13, 2015 targeted the Stade de France when Les Blues were playing there. I think in part that's probably behind Tuesday night's merrymaking, on a subconscious level, indeed, on the streets and social media alike Parisians made oblique references to the terror attacks after France beat Belgium on Tuesday night. For example, I don't like football, but it's great to hear the joy of people on the street, instead of ambulance sirens, that's probably why a photo of jubilant France fans at Le Carillon, a bar attacked on November 13, 2015, got more than 2,500 likes on Twitter. Nevertheless, amid the revelry one event proved that the terrorist threat was still on people's minds, shortly before the final whistle, a firecracker set off a panic stampede in Nice, slightly wounding 30 people. In this context of fears of terrorism, celebrating Les Blues victory allows the French to feed on a positive emotion, Fervish noted. Generally speaking, the principle of national unity involves rallying against a common enemy or adversary. That's painful, in the case of war or an attack. But it's easy when it comes to sport because ultimately the stakes aren't high, Gestat concurred, the attacks brought us together in the face of adversity. Football, by contrast, is light, superficial, and happy, all the other times when people rally together in large numbers are either sad, like terrorist attacks or the death of a public figure, or they're divisive, like the victory of a political party, the sociologist Nicholas Orcade told AFP, football doesn't solve problems is big sporting event like a World Cup victory engenders an inclusive form of patriotism, according to Vervish, if someone's happy about Les Blues' victory, no one's going to question it on the basis of their ethnicity or religion, but the philosopher added that France's World Cup victories are, at the end of the day, entertainment, a distraction. Adapting Karl Marx's famous line about religion, he argued that there is an opium of the people aspect of football, because for people in real difficulty, the unemployed, for example, it doesn't change much, football doesn't solve problems, he continued. In 1998 there was a great deal of emphasis on less blues, black, blanc, boar, black, white and North African composition. But a few years later, the 2005 riots took place, this time, unlike in 1998, Les Blues represent France, without any real message, Gestat put it. There is no message, although there is a combination of real joy and illusory happiness, Fervish concluded. This article was adapted from the original in French date created, the 12th of July 2018.